Good morning. I wanted to make you a quick video about um, your new shears that you're going to be getting. I'm so excited for you. Uh, just a little video on maintenance, how to take care of them, how to hold them, that sort of thing. Um, I saw the picture you put on of Izzy the other day. Really, really nice job. She looked fantastic. Her coat looked really smooth and you're really doing a nice job so and i think the scissors will just you know be another part to that um and i will tell you since you're getting a saffron a which is really exciting um they do have really nice coats um uh, all of the ones that i've seen are nice thick curly um so i'm not sure what izzy's coat is like um but the saffron a is you know it's it's a lot of coat so um, it's, you know, good that you're wanting to groom and you're getting all this stuff and, um, you know, I think you'll be, you'll be, be ready for the challenge. So, um, so I have my seven inch curves here and my seven inch uh, chunkers <clears throat> and I'll talk to you a little bit about uh, maintenance. It's really important to keep these clean and so I, uh, it's just a paper towel, but I have Clorox wipes in the van when you can get them. Um, you know, that's usually what I use to wipe my blades down, uh, you know, at the end of the day. So when you're done grooming, um, just wipe them down because they will accumulate hair. Um, and I like the, I like the wipes because they just kill any germs, you know. And then um, keeping your blades or your shears oiled is really important. And you will get a little tube of oil um, I'm, I'm assuming uh, with your shears, but uh, when you go through that, you'll need to buy more. And like I've ordered this from the grooming places, but you can also go like to Joann's. Uh, they have little bottles of um, sewing machine oil. Um, I think that's what it's called. Um, but just anything, it's a really lightweight um, oil. And what you wanna do is, you know, so there's a pivot point right here and you're putting just a drop of oil on the blade on either side of the pivot, both sides. So I just put a little drop there, a little drop there, flip them over. Oops, I'm making a mess. Little drop and just kind of, you know, back and forth a little bit. And then I put them to bed. So um, this will um, last, you know, uh, make them work better longer. So, um, so really important. Uh, the other thing with your shears is not dropping them. Very, very, very important because um, these are, you know, really good high quality shears that you're getting. And when you drop them, a lot of times it will put them out of alignment. And that's just not something that we can fix. They have to go to the groomer. You'll notice like if you drop them that, you know, maybe up here isn't cutting, only here will cut or vice versa and that just isn't right or they'll get a nick you know if they drop and hit something on the floor they get a nick and then you definitely <clears throat> have to have them sharpen so i will i will look like the matrix man trying to catch my shears if they fall off the table um and so one way i really try to protect that is i never set my shears on the table when i'm grooming a dog um, i will put them back up you know i've got places up here that i store mine or I'll set them on the bench behind me. So, you know, if you've got a place away from your table where you can easily access them, but your dog isn't going to, or, or you, you know, flick them off the table, it's really, really important. Um, but, uh, you know, and when you do need a sharpener, I've got a guy here in Illinois that, <clears throat> or over in Illinois, it's really good. It's like seven dollars, ten maybe it's ten dollars. I don't know. Sharpen these. It's not bad, um, but you know if you take good care of them, you shouldn't. You know you're not going to be using them like I do, and so you shouldn't have to have them sharpened very often at all. So um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is how to hold them. So I had mentioned to you about the um, ring guards. They will come. Yours will come with ring guards and. Uh, the reason why is you don't want your fingers going all the way through the shears. 
Um, and actually this one has two, I've made two ring guards to make that hole even smaller. But what you wanna do is just lay them in your hand like this. And then your thumb just barely goes into the thumb hole. You don't wanna stick your thumb all the way through because what the idea is, is you want to be using your thumb only for moving that top blade. It's much less tiring on your hand because you'll notice if you scissor a whole lot, your hand will get really fatigued. It's much less um, on your hand and you also get a better cut. When you're doing this, it tends to be more choppy. Um, when you're doing it like this, it tends to be a much more even. Uh, if you watch videos of um, really good groomers, um, they just move their thumb. So, um, you know, find a place where it fits good in your hand. And um, the reason why I like the loves, these are my nine inch loves that I use every day, um, is they have an offset shank. Um, some of them, um, like the, no, almost ev actually everything I have is offset just because my hands are small and it just fits better. So, um, so, you know, just kind of practice and it takes, it's taken me a long time to, and I'm not always perfect at it, but it's, it's taken me a long time to kind of get the hang of this, but, um, you know, your, your scissoring will be much better in the long run <clears throat> if you can do that. Um, I had something else I was going to tell. Oh, I know. Um, so tightening, when I get them back from the um, sharpener, a lot of times they just, they're way too tight, but you will have, so like on my loves, um, there is a little dial right here that you can tighten and loosen them. And the the point when you when you hold them and let them go, you just kind of want them to easily fall back and see they just don't always even touch um you want a little bit of resistance but not hard and you don't want it so loose that it's just really floppy around so you know you can kind of play with this dial a little bit to see what is comfortable for you so that's really really important i think all of my shares um, have that. And after you use them after a while, you know, they'll kind of loosen up and I need to tighten up again. But you know, you just you want a little bit of resistance in there. So I think that's about it. Uh, when you get your shears, if you need help with, um, you know, where to use them, that sort of thing, just let me know. And I will make you another video. But I think you're really, really going to like them. Um, when you get your chunkers, uh, go easy with them. They, you know, are very aggressive. Not, you know, they're not going to make the straight line that the straight cut that the curves or the straights are going to. They're a little less forgiving, but you know, they take out quite a bit of hair. So, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.